Hello, this is Justin from Dungeon Dwellers Podcast. Uh, I guess I left a comment on one of Anime Snob's videos about like the problems of modern gaming, and uh, it was his last video on the subject. So I'm like, okay, next do a video <laughs> on the problems of retro gaming. And my biggest problem with retro gaming is reviewers who drive up the prices prices of rare games with their reviews and their big audiences right which i you know when somebody like metal uh jesus th does it i don't really have that much of a problem because you know obviously he doesn't he's not intentionally driving up the prices of these games and he's he's somebody who like who actually collects rare games himself my fucking problem is when you have people who I'm not gonna fucking name who download ROMs and like review them and it's like you asshole you don't pay for this fucking shit and like you're gonna dictate to the what you're gonna influence and dictate uh, the and drive up the prices for these rare games that you don't you themselves you yeah, you you sell yourself don't pay for you fucking steal with ROMs which if someone obviously like if you're poor which I'm not rich either I fucking like you know I I'm actually planning on moving into a smaller place and a lot of my shit DVDs uh, movies books and uh, games I'm probably gonna have to sell more than half of it or uh put up with a storage place which i'm probably not going to do because uh those can be pricey like like my like my uh boss out at, at my old job canceled every year we would put shit in storage right the um, and like she she recently just st stopped doing that because it just it was just it just wasn't fucking worth it right it, it was just easier just to fucking get rid of the shit than to keep it for next year or whatever right uh, so yeah obviously i don't have a problem if you're poor right and you don't have the space to put uh collect the shit so let's be real if you don't have the 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 space or the means to collect shit you probably don't have the money to pay for the rare games themselves so if you want to steal shit and use your money for more like important stuff like paying bills putting food on your table yeah i have no problem with that my problem is when you when you do that and fucking drive up the prices for games and fucking over the people who do pay for the shit lawfully right which there are if you if you don't have the money like sorry if you don't have the space but if you have the money like nowadays a lot of rare games that were like super expensive are now on like you know a tablet or steam or whatever right though like if you ask me uh the price that they're charging for dragon quest games especially the the ones like um four and up is fucking insane like you you're you might as well go out and buy the physical copies because it's only like a like what like a twenty dollar difference like if i if you're asking me to pay like 40 bucks for like a fucking digital copy of a game when i could buy the physical copy for 60 bucks i honestly rather pay the the extra 20 bucks and have the physical copy we're living in a fucking time where uh they like the elites or the people who run shit don't want people to own things right and that's so like they can like you know shit happens and you lose it and then you have to pay for the shit again that's why i fucking hate steam because i lost my fucking steam account spent like fucking god i've had hundreds of games on there and spent god knows how much fucking money though like steam games are pretty cheap at times and i had to fucking buy a lot of the games i already own again on steam so that's why I fucking don't like PC gaming and uh, owning digital copies, even on like fucking consoles. 
I lost a lot of my fucking uh, digital copies for games there. So I kind of get why... So that, in my opinion, that's why I don't like digital gaming. But at the same time, I get... I can understand why certain people get into it because they can't, af like, they can't afford shit, right? Um, or they, you know, they can't, like, you know, afford store storage and shit. Which, honestly, you, there is this thing, I'm, I'm sorry to go on Sam Hyde, but honestly, if you're still living at home, you shouldn't be spending your money on, like, too much of your money on, like, hobbies. You should be saving as much money as you can so you can, you know, be, it, so you can build up capital and be independent, right? And then when, once you get shit, your shit in order, then get into fucking hobbies, okay? But then again, I understand, like, you know, you go to work, you spend, like, you know, most of your fucking day wage slaving, and then you get home, you don't, you, do, you just want to, uh, a means of escape, you don't want to think about uh, how, like, you have to go to fucking work the next day and start all over, okay? I get why you, you need escapism, but I'm saying, yeah, you have your escapism, just don't spend most of your fucking money on stupid bullshit, because I spent a lot of my money on stupid bullshit, and, I like, I could have, that really fucked me over, because I could have, a lot of that money, now that I'm, like, almost 30, like, I look back and it's like, wow, a lot of the money I spent on stupid bullshit really could have helped me uh, in the present, especially, like, trying to get my fucking life in order, all right? You don't want to be, like, like you know, living with your parents until you're, like, fucking your 30s and 40s, right? Save up your, if you're young, save up your money and try, you know, tr try to build yourself up, though, like, in the future, um, especially depending on where you live, like Canada, we're fucked. Like I'll probably never, unless you're like you know, like rich or whatever, have inheritance. You, pro you're probably never gonna own a house in your life because of how fucking retarded the people who run the country are that constantly drive up housing prices. Fucking fuck me. I like I was working a job where I made more money than both my parents, but you know. They, they grew up to own multiple houses. They live in a time where they move, move from house to house. Me, I can't fucking afford a house. I have to fucking rent. So, like, and they bitch to me, like, you know, you're making way more money than we, when we did. But, like, yes, yeah, I'm making way more money. Not really, if you think about it. But shit was a lot cheaper in your fucking day than it is in my day. Like, you bought, like, a trailer, part, they bought a trailer on a whim. I can't, if you, you think I can afford a trailer? No, it's like, it's like a, it's like a hundred grand for a fucking trailer. At a trailer park. Oh, like, Jesus Christ. So, like, obviously, that's for a decent one. Uh, but, like, a decently sized one. That's, like, basically the size of a small house. Like, the smaller ones are probably cheaper. But still, they're still gonna be way more than fucking six grand. Fuck, dude. But yeah, that that's just my point. If you're, uh, if you're somebody who wants to steal games, whatever, that's on you. But just don't fucking, just don't become an e celeb and then fucking drive up the prices for us people who do. All right, peace.